press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. I will say to you what uh, what my mother used to say to me. And at the end, of, because she was also raising sons, not just daughters. And I, and I found it very plausible. And, and by the way, my mother and does not have that, a Allow me to finish. Allow, okay, well, hold on. That's your perspective. And then you, and we, we will agree to disagree. That's the reason why I feel that's... that's, that's, that's okay, well, okay, that's your... Ex yes, yes, guess what? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, brother, brother. But hold on, hold on. You know what? Hold on. I have the microphone. He said, he said it's his expertise. I'm going to tell you something. It's still a perspective. It might be an expert perspective, but it's still nonetheless a perspective. And there's nothing that you can do to change. Your degree can't change that. It's still a perspective. Your degree, your degree is worth the paper and the ink that is written on, my brother. You understand what I'm saying? No, 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 it no. is. Of course it is. Without question. Without question. The point that I'm making. See, he's not on my level. The point that I'm making. Well, I tell I tell you what, you can set up a debate anytime you want. Oh, set up the debate anytime you want. I will debate you, you if go. you write a five-page paper with footnotes on why you want to debate me. In other, words, in other words, he doesn't want to debate me. Like I said, degrees, as my mother used to tell me, all the African knowledge in the world, if it cannot get you a token to get on the train, guess what? Guess what? You're going to be stuck wherever you are. And all I'm saying is that we have to, as a community, with the type of issues that we suffer from a degree in africana studies is not going to stop these police from shooting us in the street for some reason he doesn't he doesn't want me to speak he just keeps interjecting you know what your degree did not give you your degree did not give you respect that's what your degree did not give you i'm in front of the camera i got the microphone you, a few times you come over here and try to elbow me out of the camera that weight don't move me bro it don't move me at all i'm, I'm telling you you do come up against like the wrong that. person the wrong way so why, why are you acting you, like that because you because you disrespectful and i don't like disrespectful people come on man. okay and i'm gonna treat you like disrespectful come at me again like that and i'm gonna show you why my name is shit. Oh, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Don't come at me like that. I don't give a fuck about your degree. You? Fuck you. How did I come to okay? you? Okay? Real talk, dude. You, you, you're a fucking hater. You. You're a fucking hater, dude. I see, I know I hate it from a million miles away. Fat fuck. Dude, come at me again like that. You what? find out why they call wait, me Shaka. Wait, wait, shaka. Real why talk, dude. I'll cross your shit for free. That, that dude, for real, man. Don't ever come at me like that again. Don't ever do that. Because I never came at you like that. Don't do that. Give me the same respect I give you. Fuck come at me like that. What's wrong with you, man? Give a fuck about your degree. The camera's still on. I ain't even on that level. You are on that level. Because you know what? That's why we're doing this shit live to see who's going to break this peace treaty. You see what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to tell you is you from the street. That would be some sucker shit on my part to condemn everybody else that's out there that, that didn't meet up with you. Yeah. One thing that you misled these niggas in the beginning, you nah, told these bro. niggas, I got busy. Then you got on the internet playing and you got a lot of niggas thinking that they could play with me. And see, the crazy part about it is, is that when they run, when they see me face to face and we here face to face, there's nowhere to go now. They gonna pull or I'm a pull. And it's just like that. And see, people might feel like I'm in my neck of the woods. I just came through here not yeah. too long ago and backed out on half of the projects. These niggas don't like me. But guess what? I said, yo, let's go to Bronx River. No, I'm not doing it for the views. I'm doing it because I know how you are, Poppy. And what you do is you, you, and if anything happened in Harlem, you was, oh man, that nigga son never tried to do it again. Well, I'd have been waiting for your ass to come outside of 125th <laughs> Street so I oh, could believe play me, I, I, I'm coming, I go out every day. But, but, um, but you wasn't filming. All y'all niggas making videos about me. Y'all know my address, y'all done put it out on the internet. All these back and forth videos is, is unnecessary. My address ain't changed. The house is still the same. It ain't changed. I'm not running from nobody, man. I can't. I can't even run that fast. I can't breathe when I run. I don't I don't exercise like that. Just a little bit. I can't run. I'm not running from nobody. So it is what it is, man. You told me from the jump, don't fuck with Wax. He can't be trusted. Right after that, he's sitting up there making videos disrespecting your wife, retardedly. You know, if you're going to put this shit up, don't edit it. Right. Let's I'm keep it all the way for Don't edit none of this shit. Yeah. The nigga disrespected your wife all over the place. Your family disrespected them. Now he's sitting up there kissing your ass all through the comment section. The only reason why he disrespected my wife was because of you, brother. It was because you told this nigga. dude. You I put never the battery in I don't nigga. know that nigga. Right that now, but guess, hold up, but guess what? Wax Dog called me like a man. And he said, you know what, sir? I apologize for being disrespectful to your wife. And I accepted his apology. He did that as a man to me. Hold you know what I'm saying? Let's keep it, let's Come keep on, it bro. Let's keep it all the way funky, right? Yeah. For one, we grown. I'm from the streets. You from the streets. Grown men don't go find niggas enemies to become friends with them. They don't do that. 
Especially on the internet. That's not grown man shit. See, grown men. I thought you like, understood the art of war. Oh, but hold on. I thought you knew the art of war. Niggas gotta understand something. The type of dude, the type of man that I am, you put my grandmother up, and if his sister in law, you said I put your grandmother my grandmother up, my grandmother up on the internet, I and never my family, did that, bro. My, yes, you did, my grandmother. You said I that saw. was my mother. That was my grandmother. That was my grandmother you oh, put on the internet. Damn. And if, but let me ask I you a did. real serious question. When are you, Hassan? Gonna accept responsibility for what you have done. I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. Let me finish. No, no, Let no. me finish. Got, got Let me finish. Got, got when are you gonna accept responsibility for what you have done? The only reason why I threw up your family members was because you disrespected my wife. You disrespected my daughters, bro. I never talked about your family until I saw that, and I and I ate that for a while. But you kept doing it. I sat up there and I said, you know what? I squashed it with you. I said, you know what? This is over with. I apologize to everybody for acting ignorant. That wasn't good enough for you. The apology you I playing. wanted, Hassan, now, I'll, see if, you you I'll see if you I'm give it to me today. I'll see if you give it to me today. Right, to see? Right now. But I thought this was going to be real. Listen, no, what, it is real. What I'm telling Did you I is, try to set I'm you up? I'm not Did I try to set you up? I believe that. I personally believe that. Because the one thing on, that the Hassan, one thing the, 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 one, the one thing why did he lie about Tafik being there? I did one? not. Nah, you did. I never Red seen Tafik, and why, I still why, said that to the day. Why, why, why Red Pill? Red Pill made it clear that you saw him, and I. I can't Red Pill tell you. I see. Listen, it I can call Red Pill listen, right now. Listen. How listen, can Red Pill tell you who I seen, bro. Red I heard Red Pill see that listen, shit. Listen, I didn't see listen, him. Come I on. called you on the phone and I asked you. Why you tried to set me up? What the fuck was Tafik doing there? You told me Tafik, you didn't see Tafik. I, I still Tafik say that I, to this day. I heard Tafik when I was on the phone with you, and then Red Pill turned around. Red Red Pill turned around and told me a year later he was like Tafik was there. He saw Tafik. You spoke to him, and he spoke to him. I'm telling you right now, that's a lie. I never spoke but, to but, him but that then day. What you did was I'm still telling you that that's a lie. But then Tafik, no, that same day when I was out there and I seen him, I met him. I, I went right to his mother's house and told him to come outside. He ain't come. Tafik could talk all that and pop all that shit he popped. He did not come. Tafik already know how it go down. He knows. So the reality of it is for y'all to even play, like the games that you play, you know Bambada is a doggone pedophile. You know that. Bam been hiding from me. Bam ain't step up to the forefront. At, but, oh, when you gonna do something to Bam? I'm, so I'm supposed to go chase him in Brazil and Europe and all over the world? Hassan is not keeping it real. What split us up is when he said I tried to set him up to get him killed. That's the whole shit that really made us split. That was the split right there. You was going through my shit because I know that was you flagging my Facebook, scrolling out five or six years. I have my never. Shit. I know you did that. I have right. never I flagged him. you, um, Hassan. Never did that. And see, that's what he does, y'all. I don't know. Hassan blames me for everything. Anything that go down, he blames me. And I came through Bronx River one time and I said, Hassan, I'm downstairs. Let's meet up so we can squash. You still didn't come down. Why would I you come? You didn't want to meet me. Nigga, why would I come just meet up with you and not think you do think for a single second right now? I don't think the FBI watching me. You crazy. I don't trust you, Sai. Damn, see that's it? I don't trust why, you. Why you think I'm government B real? Tell the truth. Yeah, I do. Alright, so now look. Now, 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 hold up. You hear what he's saying? Hell yeah. I, come I, on, man. man. You I would be phony as shit if I stood in his face you and I didn't say what I say. I'd be I'd be phony as shit. So if you believe I'm government, why would you be standing here with me right now? The reason now? why, my, this is my family. So he is an extension of my family that I did not know had anything to do with this. So he's the reason why I'm here. My mother's on her deathbed right now. I don't think she's going to make it. I promised myself that when my mother died, I was going to kill you. Wherever I found you at, listen, 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 to what, listen to what I'm saying. I promised myself. Listen to what I'm saying because niggas think I'm playing. I promised myself. This is God doing this for you. My mother's dying right now. I said when my mother died, I was going with her. I promised myself when my mom's died, son, you was going to go. She hanging on to life right now. She just had three, three strokes. She's sitting in the hospital looking like something I ain't never seen. It, and I promised myself that. Hassan, Hassan, you would have got the surprise of your life, brother. Soon as I would have seen you walk up in my hood. No, but soon, no, let me just tell him. Soon as I would have seen you walk in my hood, I wasn't going to let you walk up on me. So I know that I could tell by the way you was I don't give a fuck about how you car. saying you how, how you tell. Okay, see, you keep thinking that. Listen, man, you're turning That's what you keep up, thinking. But as soon as I would have seen you, Hassan, you wouldn't even got close to me. You wouldn't have. Yeah, because you're talking too much. Nah, what the fuck? You, now I'm talking too much? Because you're talking too much. Come on, man. So what I'm supposed to shut up? So I'm supposed to shut up like a bitch? So I'm supposed to be quiet like a bitch? You telling me? So you telling me that I'm supposed to be quiet like a bitch and let you say what the fuck you want to me?
You Come on, dude. Your chest. You got that. You got that shit right all now. the way to my step. Come on. We ain't gonna play cute, sir. I'm not playing. Do it look like I'm playing cute? Do it look like I'm smiling, man? Grown men don't argue. You arguing. I we both arguing. Argue with you. We both arguing, bro. We're gonna talk like men. Let's talk like men, brother. Dude, I, I don't do this shit for no fucking views and none of that, man. So fuck right now, You gotta chill out. The only reason why I, I went live is because he said let's do it live. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, yeah. That's the only reason. Come on, man. I, I said I came out here for peace. That's what I came for. Hassan Campbell, get over here, blood. Get over here, blood. Nigga, you was sucking dick at 18, 17, blood. Fuck you talking about, blood. Talking about you like, like, blood. Talking about you. I was molested. You wasn't fucking molested. You was gay, blood. Fuck you talking about. I was fucking grown ass 14. Nigga, you know what the fuck I was doing at 14, blood? The first time I ever got some pussy, I ate some pussy, blood. I ain't gonna lie, blood. I licked the pussy and licked the ass the first time I got. I was already getting some pussy at 14, 15, 16, 17. Nigga, I was already going to jail, blood. Nigga, I was, nigga, turned up, getting locked up. LP, East Lake, Seelmore, Camp Holton, Camp Jarvis, Camp Scobie, nigga, Camp uh, Lewis Raw, Fire Camp, nigga, 15, nigga, motherfucker. Nigga, I was going to jail. You a sucking dick. Fuck you talking about, blood. What the fuck qualifies a nigga that was in his late teens still sucking dick, blood? Sucking dick. Yeah, and he went down on me. He used to come pick me up and go. Nigga that was getting his dick sucked by a grown, fat, ugly ass man, blood. Big, big, like blood. Big, ugly ass nigga, blood. Like blood, you had that big. Yeah, I, I was asleep and I used to wake up and. Bombada would be sucking on my penis. Blah, blah, you was like 15, 16, 17. Nigga, you was a whole grown ass blood. You was old enough to have kids, blood. Still get letting a grown ass man suck your dick. One time is a molestation, blood. A repeat is a relationship, motherfucker. That nigga was fuck. Y'all niggas was fucking, blood. That's a whole relationship. Fuck you talking about, blood. Fuck qualified. I don't give a fuck how many bodies a nigga caught after because you tried to deal with the post part of depression of getting a nigga grown fat ugly ass nigga penis all in your mouth multiple times blood nigga probably was splashing your ass boo cocky blood you nigga nigga had your ass participating in all kind of porn hub categories nigga all kind of weird freaky shit blood and you was returning for it blood that's not a but he had video games he was a prominent figure blood it was a lot of fucking prominent figures in the community blood but i wasn't sucking a fucking dick blood fucking weirdo blood. blood that nigga got stabbed up for trying to fuck another nigga nigga was trying to fuck another nigga the other nigga stabbed him up and you went to go visit the nigga blood Stop Stockholm Syndrome, blood. Stockholm Syndrome, blood, 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 blood. How the fuck a nigga 14, 15, 16, like, blood? Molestation happens before 12, blood. I start jacking off in third grade, motherfucker, like, blood. I knew what pussy was, blood. It was hairy, but it was fired up, blood. But that shit looked at good, blood. That shit looked at desirable, blood. A big, fat, black-ass nigga named Africa Bombada. Penis all in my face wasn't fucking desirable. Nigga at 14, 12, nigga 12, 13, 14, 15. Fucking nigga talking about he was getting molested, blood. That's not like blood. At that point, it's not molestation, blood. That's a relationship, blood. That's fascination at that point, blood. Big grown ass black ugly nigga named Africa Bobbada inviting you over to you. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Oh, nothing, just chill. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come over and play some Fortnite? What was it back then? Fucking uh, Atari or something? You want to come over and play some Sega? Yeah, yeah, completely. Let's play some Sonic the Hedgehog, blood. Then you was over there getting your hog hedge dope, blood. I'm just saying, blood. Fuck kind of shit y'all had going on over there? Oh, B2K looking at. Blood, you niggas was the first B2K, blood. You and B Stinger. My nigga B Stinger. <laughs> B Stinger. <laughs> Ha 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 
Hassan Campbell. <laughs> Hassan Campbell and Beast Stinger. <laughs> <laughs> you never been so high, you stick around me by. And you say, damn, baby, how did you get that fly? Flight school. I'm so fly, so fly. Too fly for flight school, first class certified. Looking like a white dude. You can't win if you might lose. Nope. It's like you lost trying to find your way without the right clues. I've been hot way before I had a fan base. I spit quakes, make the whole fucking land shake. My nigga fly him and birds do handshakes. I pass birds close enough to see Sam's face. Cut your wings off, make you fall on your damn face. Nigga so slow that my nigga had to translate. Uh, I shine brighter than the speed of light. And I don't need any light poles to see the night. I got the stars cast glow like kryptonite. Cut through the clouds so much I could rip the night. And make Superman say, wait for me. I'm so quick, he gave away his cape to me. And put my songs on blast Disappear when you blink Put my speed on flash So close to the sun You would've thought I was a Phoenix fan Spaceship steers itself I don't need my hands And I don't need a ruthless car Look y'all I'm in the sky Shooting star And I don't need the hood Cause I'm good here Left for one day And my niggas grew a full beard My eye level is a sky level I want more than what you have to offer So I settle Now these bitches saying Bounce you chains Well I'm the real reason Why you birds have wings Nigga Come on nigga Don't catch me on Facebook I'm on Spacebook Let's do it Previously on Love and Flip Flops. Go! This for the girl, the nigga. Go! Fight! Seeing J's on the corner when I'm walking out the school. Stop! 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 Break! 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 Shut up! Malia! Shut up! Malia, what I say? Malia, what I say? Break! Malia, I said shut the fuck up. Nana, you ready? You control? Alright, Malia. Malia, control yourself or you get smacked. Or you get rolled out. Don't fucking get rolled out. Hey yo, if you don't fucking act, if you don't act right, you gonna get rolled out. You gonna get rolled out. Hey yo, Aya, Afro, if the bitch don't break, roll that bitch out. Straight up. Hey yo, nah, nah, when I say break, I mean break or they gonna fuck you up. I'm not playing. Y'all ready? Why did you surround me with this lie? Do you care whether you live or you die? To lose, I'm gonna rise. Break! 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 Yeah, nigga. Fuck that. Tribal shit, nigga. Y'all ready? Fight! Why did you surround me with this lie? Y'all ready? Round four. Let's go. Y'all ready? Fight!
I guess you did that for the box. I'm not cut your dick out. Just stick it in your brain mouth. You niggas low backs. Like you niggas ain't no murderers. Next, you pain. But you ran with you niggas. I said it then I mean it. I ain't gon' bite my words. Hey, pull up on the set and leave the shit on the curb. What's that? 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 Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. What you talking about, bro? Hold up, stop, stop. Right now. Stop. 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 See my lip, my face, bitch. I'm tired. I got me some. I'm stop, tired. stop, stop. So you done? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, mother. Come here, come here, Nana. Come here, Nana. Come here, Nana. Stop right there. Got energy out. She bitch your city and everything, baby. Hey, look, come here. Right. Come here, stand right here. I love my stand right here. I said stand right here. What I say? Stand right there. I said stand right there. I didn't know you were I said stand right there. Fuck is you talking about? I'm not gonna listen to me. Stop. 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 Stop.
So this is what I want to talk about. So I want to talk about Tanisha. Fuck, fuck everything else. So I want to talk about Tanisha. You need to let her come home. She don't want to be. She want to be in Babylon. She don't want to be with you. You are What you talking about? Malia, Malia, Malia that's come what in, I'm Malia. talking about. Malia, yes, come to the camera, please. Come to the camera. First of all, calm your fucking voice down. Who you talking to? Yo, let me get you out of here. My voice is calm. Yo, calm it's, your fuck down. It's calm. Go all the way down. You're not going to disrespect me on my shit. Calm the fuck down. That's number who one. Who is you? I don't care it's for my you. my shit. Fuck you. That's who I am. Fuck you. Fuck you. All right. That's cool. All right. That's cool. Talking about disrespect. Fuck you, nigga. The fuck? You ain't no king, nigga. You, 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 you think you a <coughs> king. You, you, you manipulating them. You ain't no manipulating them. I could, I, I, I could disrespect anybody. Nah, I know uh -huh. all them. Fuck y'all. Well, yeah, Tanisha, you need to get out there. That's what you need to do. You need to come home. Cause they, they treating your bag. You need to come home, baby. Shut up, Shut up, Shut up, You know me, Tanisha. I've been watching you for about uh -huh. two years, baby. You you, know you really need to come home. Oh, you worked at Walmart again? Tanisha, you see. really need to oh, come home. I used to home. work at Walmart. Huh? Okay, yeah. yeah, I used to work at Walmart. Whoa, yeah. Oh, Walmart. You work at Walmart? She left her baby. She was pregnant, the baby. I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't like the way you living out there. You, you, so you, you hurting yourself. I'm you fucking baby. Ain't your business. Go ahead and talk. It is my business. It is because she shouldn't be out there with Man, me. shut up. Find she needs to come it. home. She needs to come home. You fuck out of here, stupid ass nigga. So I know you, and you worked at Walmart. You didn't even deserve to be talked to. Fuck out of here, though. I didn't tell them to fight. They wanted to fight. I orchestrated it. Stupid. What's now? You trying to pull it? What's that with the lawyer? Where you at? What? Hey, you talking about Orlando right there, you hear me? What? Hey, listen. Where you at? Look, I want to talk. I really want to talk. I don't want to listen. I don't want to fuss Hold up, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What you gonna do? I want look, I want, I want to call you ain't the only one with a gun, boy. Send that low. Send that Come low. Come on, man. You, you ain't the only one with a gun. Send that low. You just okay. because you're the two females. Two females. Y'all is the sex cult. Two females. But listen, but listen, let me talk. Two females, nigga. Fuck out of you ain't scared. You ain't the only one with a gun. You, you disrespecting her. No, nah, I didn't. Not, I don't know true. this bitch. You're not over her. I don't know that. You're not bitch. over her. I'm not no bitch. I'm not no bitch. You're not over her. See your location. See your location. Where you at? See your location. Them your own. I'm fighting you. You don't got no platform. No people that you got. You're going to be dead in no time. I promise you. What you say? He gonna be dead in no time. I promise you. Leave me alone. Cause Send you were you were you a young know? nigga. You can never get where I'm at. You need a passport, nigga. Bro, you got my ties. What are you? Go get a passport, fuck nigga. See this? Look at you. My ties, nigga. Come on, man. What's that? What's that? You gonna send the love? This is Tanisha, y'all. I'm really, I'm really trying to. I'm really trying. You on the motherfucking internet, nigga? We need to. Get this man in jail. He needs to be. Y'all want a nigga in jail? Look at these whole ass niggas. You need want a nigga in jail? Look at him. Help, sir. The background. So you is look at that. You can't trust the other people Fuck. trying to get wow, some pregnancies. These niggas. These niggas are stupid. Stupid niggas. Fucking talking to these niggas, man. These little roaches. Thank you for tuning in to Scammer News. I'm Trevor Woodbrain. In today's episode, Omar Johnson again. Umar Johnson is added again with the scamming. Where's the money, Mr. Johnson? I just came back from an all-white party with my girlfriend, Shanika. So, uh, y'all excuse the attire. And, um, let's get right into this. Um, here, here are scammer news. We come with the receipts. We come with the truth. And we keep it real at all times. So, let's, let's start off with Mr. Johnson's shenanigans. Dr. Umar Johnson, I'm coming to you live and direct, Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy Campus, Wilmington, Delaware. We are here. Make sure y'all donate to help us raise the money so we can get the building completely restored. The building that's right behind me. This is the Honorable Marcus Garvey Building. Get your donations in. Get on your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School. Get on your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG School. Get on your PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy paypal.me slash fdmg academy you could donate on paypal now and you can donate on the cash app you could donate on paypal now and you could donate on the cash app and you can still 
Mail in your donations to the FDMG Academy, P.O. Box 9634, Wilmington, Delaware. P.O. Box 9634, Wilmington, Delaware, 19809. Help us out, brothers and sisters. We do not have enough money to cover the HVAC. We do not have enough money to cover the electric. We do not have enough money to cover the plumbing. We do not have enough money to cover the sprinkler system, the fire alarm. We do not have enough money to cover the security system. We need your help. So please. Oh, let me stop it there. Flag on the fight. Flag on the fight. Time, time out, Nick Rose. Pro black timeout. Pro black timeout. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, Mr. Johnson. Let's backtrack a little bit, Mr. Johnson. There was a time where people were offering to, to do repairs for free for you, Mr. Johnson, but you never uh, got back to those people, Mr. Johnson. Why is that? The only people that you respond to, Mr. Johnson, is, is females with big booties and long butt cracks and people that have donations. But any man that will try to help you, Mr. Johnson, his calls go ignored. What kind of pro-black man would need money for the electricity? When you purchase a new property, you don't have to pay the electric company for them to turn on their electricity. I never heard of these shenanigans. Oh, golly, geez. This is not making sense to me. This is not making sense to me at all. Now, you said you need money for the HVAC. You need, you need money for all these different things. Hold up, Mr. Johnson. You said allegedly you paid four hundred thousand dollars for that shithole. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I mean to say that I'm a little tipsy. Me and Shanika was out at the white party, and I had me a couple cocktails, so I'm a little, little off. So, uh, y'all excuse me here, scammer news. But uh, you had four hundred thousand dollars, Mr. Johnson. You raised over a million dollars, Mr. Johnson. So where's the rest of the $600 at, Mr. Johnson? You couldn't have spent it making it rain at Denny's, Mr. Johnson. You couldn't have spent it just tricking, Mr. Johnson. You damn sure didn't spend it on a vacuum cleaner because we seen what your inside of your house looked like, Mr. Johnson. It looked like a goddamn pigsty. Oh, my golly, jeez. So where's the rest of the money at? You, you asking all these people for the money, Mr. Johnson. All you do is ask for money, 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 money. But nothing has been new at that school. You showed up here on this video with a with a, with a uh, Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy face mask. That shit's five dollars, Mr. Johnson. Like, what what have you done besides have someone paint a rock, Mr. Johnson? Let's continue. What are these shenanigans? Oh my golly, jeez. Please donate. Don't do ten. Do twenty. Don't do fifty. Do a hundred. Don't do a hundred. Do two hundred. We need your help. Yes, it is tax deductible. We are not for profit corporation. Totally tax deductible. You can claim it on your taxes. Yes, it is. Again, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Paypal.me slash FDMG Academy or cash.me slash dollar sign FDMG School. Cash.me slash dollar sign. You know what I have noticed with Mr. Johnson? He does a lot of begging, but no, he's not showing any progress with the school. That's what we were saying here at Scammer News. That's what Monty Cocaine Woodgrain has been saying and others. He's not making no progress with the school at all. He has somebody cut the grass. He said he had an alarm system. How, see, the man's a liar. How can he have an alarm system with no electricity? How can he have security cameras with no electricity? He said he had a staff that was up there. He had someone uh, mining the school. Then he lied and said there was a fire at the school. Well, I was at that school more than once. And there, there was no fire recently. There was no breaking of glass recently. I want to pay another visit up to the school really soon. And I'm going to give another update to show y'all that this guy is a liar. But if you don't know by now that Mr. Johnson is a liar, then we don't know what to tell you here at Scammer News. So hey here y'all, it's News. your girl Miss Lauren here. And your friend, your boy, Dr. Umar is back at it again. You guys, instead of uplifting our black men and our black businesses, he's out here being disrespectful. Okay, y'all? So Dr. Umar made up this book that probably does not exist. And and said he was going to be doing a book signing, you guys. He's already charging people and the book is nowhere to be found. He wants $50 if you come to the book signing. And if you want the book online, honey, you got to pay $60 plus your own shipping and handling. Now, what's hilarious about all of this, you guys, is that 
Dr. Umar, like I said, tried to disrespect a black man and a black business that's trying to flourish and do well in this pandemic and not scam like he is. Okay, guys, so we have Fat Fades Barbershop here. And as you can see, you guys, they have some award-winning barbers in their barbershop. They have a beautiful facility there. I'm not sure why Dr. Umar thought he would have been invited. All right, y'all? So Dr. Umar originally posts that he's doing this so-called book signing at this barbershop and the barbershop came back honey two hours ago letting us know that they have nothing to do with Dr. Umar and they do not stand with his values morals or principles how more embarrassing can things get for you sir I don't understand guys I just don't get it Dr. Umar is relentless. It's the middle of a pandemic. Many people are not working. Many people aren't even sure how they're going to teach their children, what avenues they're going to be taking, and you want to play with people's money. Why? At this point, y'all, Dr. Umar is worse than Frank Gallagher from Shameless, y'all. After Fat Fade's Barbershop made their post on Instagram, he went ahead a few minutes later and posted a new spot for <laughs> a new venue for this book signing you guys for this book that probably doesn't even exist you want people to prepay for this book where is it I just don't understand how people are still giving their money to Dr. Umar. If you're giving this person money for this imaginary school or whatever it is that you think he's promoting pro-blackness or whatever it is, you might as well be flushing it down the toilet. It's so serious. It's right in front of your face. He's not showing you anything in, in hand, anything tangible. <laughs> and y'all are still giving this person your money. I just don't get it. Maybe we're feeling like, yo, you know, money is the is is the answer for everything. But sometimes it's our resources. How about yo? You know, could you donate your time or something to to help, instead of the money to to fix something? How about y'all come in and, and and donate your time to to help build up the school or something like that? You see, it's not always about money. It's about the people that you know. It's about a lot of different things. For for seven hundred thousand, I feel like maybe we could have got a piece of land and, and just built from the ground up and it could have been turned out cheaper. You might need some help with it, brother. What do you well, think? Well, a couple things. I want to deal with your assumption um, that I might need some help. Okay. Uh, most of my friends are educators. Most of my elders are educators and psychologists. That is my field. So it's kind of interesting with someone who's an expert in something, and I'm not speaking to you, I'm speaking to the detractors who say I can help him with that. This is no, not I think they're talking about the real estate part of it. Not okay. you're an educator, but not a real estate guy. You but see we already saying? have the real estate, so that's not even an issue. Right, right. but did, did we choose the right real estate? Did we I take the money and do right and do the brother. best fiduciary you, thing with the money? You, brother, I just told you that the schools that we got was a thirteen million dollar project nine years ago in excellent shape. We got a steal for that campus. It was a steal. It was the best thing I could have possibly got. I have no regrets. Okay. See, that's when we start feeding into the lies. That's why you got to come see the school, my brother. Absolutely. And the queen, see I'd it for yourself. Because you have people telling you that the school ain't in good shape. The school is in excellent shape, which is why we're getting offers for it now. It's in excellent shape, brother. The classrooms don't even have to be touched. We just have to fix the electrical system, the HVAC system, and the plumbing system. So I don't need help with the real estate. We were blessed with that campus. You understand? And as far as your brother's school, I support him. That's I'm my father-in-law. My father-in-law. I just uh, looked at the uh, the website. Mm -hmm. Kudos to that brother. Yes, sir. But what I'm doing ain't that. I want to be absolutely clear. The Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey RBG International Leadership Academy will be America's first school based off the principles of pan-African nationalism and international economics. That's not what I'm doing, brother. I have a totally different concept from him. You understand? So if I- The concept could be different, but the implementation of how it's put- But I don't need his help implementing, brother, because I'm a certified school psychologist and a certified school principal who's experienced, who got a whole cadre of educators. So y'all keep making these things. He needs to talk. No, I don't. Y'all don't know who I got. But I got then why, why is somebody, you have all these credentials, then why is this man who we don't know was able to put his school I together in a few months and, and it's taking school. you six years, brother? 
six years is nothing for a school. I can show you 10 charter schools where the money is coming from the state and it took them almost a decade to get open. Brother, you don't open up a school in a year or two. I don't know your brother's story and I don't care to know it. I don't care to know it. I why got not though? Business. If it could be helpful to you, why why wouldn't because, you care to know it? If it could be helpful own, to you. Brother, I have friends who own schools. Do you understand that? I have friends who own schools. So if I need to talk to someone who owns a school, I already got that. I got what I need. The only thing missing from missing from my equation is enough funds to complete the task. That's it. That's it. The school is not open yet because I don't have enough funds to do it that way. I'm not going to no bank. Maybe we well, 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 well maybe we need it's, fundraising, um, different brother, fundraising brother. methods. Maybe yes, the people that we go can, to we have that in place. But what I want you to understand, it takes time to build institutions. I ain't got no problem with where we are. I'm loving where we at. We got our plans done by the engineer. We got our electrician chosen. I'm meeting with my HVAC this weekend. I got my plumber on standby. Roofer did his job, carpenter lined up. We doing what we need to do on the time frame we doing it in. I don't need no help outside of the team I got, which is filled with experts from the East Coast to the West Coast, bro. Mm. Okay, brother. I mean, you know, these are definitely the, the, the answers that people want to know. They want to I'm not interested in people. I'm interested in donors, brother. Yeah, but 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 in order for you to get donors, though, you're gonna no, have to sir, satisfy no, these. No, I yes, brother. And I how are you gonna get donors you. if you don't you satisfy? If if, if you know I'm I disagree with you, listen, listen. If I'm considering to be a donor, but uh -huh. I have certain questions uh -huh. that I want answered, uh -huh. I feel like Can that's I legitimate. Can why? I tell you why that's bullshit? Why? Can I? Can Go ahead, please. Respectfully. Respectfully, You've been raising money for six and a half years, brother. If you ain't donate up by now, you ain't donating, and your question don't matter. I'm See, no, 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 but, no, 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 yes, yes, yes. no, yes, no, yes, no. Yes, you bro. can't assume that in the oh, six years everybody knows what that's you're doing. Wait, hang on, that's hang, a fact. hang on. Let me let me interject here. <laughs> if you I ain't think donate by now, you ain't going to donate, and that's all right with me. But what if they didn't know about it? What if they're just finding out about it? Hang, hang on, hang on. Let me let me let me let me interject uh, to to both of you guys' points. To 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 you, brother Umar. I think what you know what for for a lot of people that may be naysayers or or detractors. I don't care about the naysayers. But but listen, hang on, hang on. I, I don't I don't want you to focus on them. But imagine someone who may just be you know. Who may just be getting acclimated to your situation somebody mm -hmm. could just be finding out you know or or maybe when they hear about you they 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 see the propaganda they see the negative stuff but mm -hmm. they love the idea they're in love with the mm -hmm. you know with mm -hmm. the philosophy mm -hmm. so then when they go to research you to try to get more information i guess they're not getting the answers they feel like they uh uh, to the questions that they want to ask, but they may possibly want to donate, or you know, I, and I, I'm not referring. I'm, I'm not referring to the people that's just like, oh, well, what's he doing? I, I'm not referring to those people. I'm, I'm referring to people that are legitimately believing in your cause, but may possibly, you know. Do, 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 do. I, I agree with you, Queen. But to that, I'll say this quickly: I'm the most accessible black scholar in the world. My cell number is public. My email is public. And guess what? I do get emails from people. They do reach out to me. And they do ask me questions and I answer the questions. Here's what I'm saying. A lot of the questions that are being posed, right? And I understand where brother Jamar coming from because he's just being the vessel to bring it to me. I get it. Okay, I understand that. So we on the square together. But those are coming from haters. You gotta understand something. I'm probably the most influential and accomplished black school psychologist in American history. Not probably, I am. I am. I've been doing this work for over 20 years. My name is etched in stone. There is no such thing as I just woke up and heard about you. You're gonna get some people like that, but most of our people know who I am because I helped them save their kids or their children went to my school. I didn't just wake up yesterday. People know who I am. 
I got the books. I got the articles. I got the resume for that. Absolutely. You understand? So some people just woke up, though. Everybody no, not. No, 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 no. But listen to me. Even if you're not in the conscious community, you know who I am. I don't belong to the conscious community. I belong to the African race. I'm the most requested black scholar in the world, hands down. That's mainstream. Yeah, but you got to understand how many people are not don't even like but they're not know about scholars that's, like that's, that's what I mean. Like are so people, far but, removed they're from. They're not the, asking the negative questions, Jamar. They're not. The new people are not asking the negative questions. The negative questions are the haters. But that's but I'm saying, I'm is it a negative question to just to want transparency? You see what I'm saying? Bro, to just want to know bro, what's going bro, on, bro. What transparency are you talking about? We raised the money, we bought the schools. What transparency are you talking about? We raised the money, the little bit left is going to repair. What transparency are you talking about? You think I'm gonna put the school bank account on YouTube? Well, you think of course I'm not. Of course bank not. On Twitter? You think I'm gonna put the school bank account on Instagram? You watch your damn mind. I'll I think they, that. I think they Don't maybe want a, more of a timeline of when it might haters, open bro. or something you like catering that. Catering to the haters. Don't cater no, to the no, haters. no, no. It's not a catering to the Don't haters. The we have to. We, here's what we got. Here's what we got to do, though, to brother. Hate, no, 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 no. It's not about catering to the hate. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. Okay. We have to make sure we have to we have to vet all of our people, bro. I got love for you, bro. Everybody. Then, then vet them other Negroes in the conscious community who ain't building shit. Vet oh, we're gonna we gonna get My to them all, inside, bro. bro. Uh, oh, who Jamar, wait, bro, Jamar, we gonna get to them all. Who else is building? Jamar, don't discriminate. <laughs> Listen, somebody built an institution from the grass. Right. Maybe somebody, you ain't got none of them. Name me I a mean, YouTuber doing what I'm doing. Any of them conscious dudes. Name one on my level. Name one building. You crazy. I they can't. Can my sneaks, bro. I can't. They All I can name shit. is my father-in-law. How many they kept out of jail, bro? They're not building shit. Right. So, so through the grass. What have they built, bro? Who you know in the conscious movement built an institution? Answer that. Nobody. I'm the only one in my generation doing it. Well, you're building it. You're building it. It's yeah, not built bro. yet, though. It's it not don't built. Be there. Don't you worry about it. You be the first one there. Trust Beautiful. me. Beautiful. Hey, what's up, everybody? So, it's Chamua J here, and I'm coming to you about something that I'd like to share. Okay, so everybody knows maybe like a month or two ago, Young Pharaoh was getting donations, and when you clicked on his page, he had like $59,000 in donations claiming that he was going to sue YouTube. Yet nobody has heard nothing about the lawsuit from YouTube. So I click on this girl's video. As everybody knows, this is his baby mama of like three kids. And she's all decked out in brand new clothes and a brand new house and a brand new camera that they just bought by spamming their viewers. So let's get into this video. Look, they in a new house that was living in the hood. In Buffalo, California. Look. That's a that's a two thousand dollar camera. And where'd you get the money from to do that? Because guess what? Regular insurance doesn't cover that. That's an out-of-pocket cost. So where did you get the money to conduct those screenings? This is not the first time that Young Pharaoh has spammed. If you go onto my YouTube channel, you will see that Young Pharaoh was stealing from kids in Africa by using their SOS, say SOS logo, Save Africa. Where is the lawsuit? We have not heard anything about the lawsuit in months after a $59,000 donation. Then all of a sudden, she's pregnant. They have a new car, right? Remember they posted about a brand new car they bought off the lot? I remember that. They bought a brand new car. They're in a brand new house. And she's paying thousands of dollars for early genetic testing for release. Uh, releasing genetic testing, which is not covered by primary insurance because I know these things. So with that being said, 
I encourage anybody who comes across this video to stop donating to spam artists because they're not doing what they're saying they're doing with the money. They're using the money for materialistic purposes. Yeah, this, this is my, 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 my um, gay nephew, Travis, man. He feeling guilty. Now, 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 Travis feel guilty. Not gonna call this nigga Travis. Look, just like, hey, look, at hey, talk just like Travis, man. But this nigga feel guilty that he scammed all that money. He wasn't expecting to get that money. He probably was expecting to get like five, ten bands, go out there, trick off, and do some weird shit with it. He wasn't expecting to get all that money, man. But it's just one motherfucker called this nigga dumb and called him um, unintelligent. It ain't nothing dumb about this motherfucker, man. He might be a compulsive liar, and he might believe in a lot of weird shit. He might believe in aliens and spaceships and all that, all that kind of shit, the deep state. And he talk about shit the average motherfucker don't talk about. But this nigga is far from being a dummy, man. I don't know where y'all, where y'all get this motherfucker, this pseudoscience and shit or whatever. It, 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 it takes him. This motherfucker been getting money off of YouTube and, and getting money for a long time. You know that. Uh, the dates are important because those are before, you know, the people chose to support me in my endeavor to sue YouTube on behalf of the American people. Boo, that's my ear, boo. That's my ear. Yeah, so it's, it's before I chose to sue YouTube on, on behalf of the American people. And the reason that that's important is because I work hard, you know, for everything that I have and everything that I get personally in my life. And what I want people to know is you can do it another way, man. You don't got to hustle. You don't got a gangbang. You can put your mind to something else and be successful. So part of the reason that I'm showing that is because, yes, I want the people to know that, you know, I'm not a skeezer or a scammer. And I would never say I'm doing something to do something left and, and go left. So I want people to know when y'all see, uh, I'm actually waiting on my jury to be shipped. You know what I mean? But it's, it's custom, so y'all know it take a minute. But when y'all see me, you know what I mean, pop out with it, you know what I mean, with a new wardrobe and you see me move, you know, by next month and you see me iced out. I don't want nobody to think that I that I bought that with, baby, stop being in the horn. I don't want nobody to think that I bought that with nobody else's, you know, money but mine. And so He basically told on himself. He basically just told on himself. He basically just told himself. He getting jewelry shipped. He getting jewelry shipped. He getting a new whip. He getting all iced out. All for the money that he scammed. Now he's saying if you see him. If you see him with the shit that he about to get. It didn't come from your money. Where the fuck he come from? <laughs> he just told on himself man. Young fro told on himself man. He worked hard for it. You, you, him working hard is getting the money from y'all. That's him working hard. That's what he mean by working hard. He don't have no fucking job. This is his. This is his livelihood. Is getting money off of YouTube. It's to let the people know that you know. I don't. I don't want y'all to think that y'all ever can't trust me or that I do. You know, whole things like that because I don't. So I want y'all to know everybody that helped out and, and, and is in support of me pursuing this mega company is. Uh, that's where it's going. You know what I mean? And I talk. No, no one little nigga like this can suit no YouTube man. You need a, like a class action suit. You need a whole bunch of motherfuckers. <laughs> who would believe that? I want to know who would believe that. Who is dumb enough to believe that this kid is showing YouTube man? You, you can do anything these days, man. But this nigga lying, man. He he feel he feel guilty, man. He feel guilty that he got y'all, man. On that, damn near every day I talk to them again today, they, they, they put it, I mean, we, we, we putting the facts together, I gave them all my evidence, and I mean, when, when everything straightened out, we're going we gonna to be ready to go, it ain't going to be nothing to wait on, and they already let me know. If anything, you two would made a mistake, you wouldn't sue them, <laughs> ah, man, this kid is, this kid is something else, man, <laughs> I don't know how people, man, I, I know one thing, man, I believe, I blame on the educational system, man, they want motherfuckers dumb. That's why you think, why you think, I was telling this lady on my job yesterday, man. I said, why you think the Indians wasn't slaves, man? Why, why, why the United States wasn't able to, to make the Indians slaves? It had a whole bunch of Indians here 
Why did they have to go to Africa and get black people when they already had Indians here? They knew the they knew they knew the land better than than, than the people from Africa. They knew they knew things, but they, why weren't the Indian slaves, man? And that tells you why people is why he's able to get sixty thousand, seventy, eighty thousand dollars off the internet in one in one day. Cause it, people ain't that bright, man. Niggas ain't that bright, man. But they had this little thing, this convention, and I noticed a lot of the suspected white supremacist YouTube trolls were That's there, us. and some of their coon minions. Well, I have no idea what I could even say to you. To give you half a brain and help you be a human, dude Cause all you see is colors Everyone that comes at you, you call a racist Just because they see right through your fucked up rules Now it's clear to me that you don't have a lot to give Still you use your influence to brainwash all these helpless kids I wish that something could be done to get through to you, ayy To make you realize preaching all this hate is not okay I've seen your tweets, your podcasts, your radio shows And I won't shut up until the whole planet knows That you're a bigot with only one selfish thing on his mind Perpetuating division, one city lie at a time, huh? Cause views equals money, man, it's hard to do not that you were race baiting country spreading this hate to get by cause you have no fucking talents man you're filled with only malice family trying to keep the world from growing up like brain to beat a pan shut the fuck up Tariq your message is full of shit and hate man you're ignorant of suspected white supremacists Cause using logical thought has become your arch nemesis You're stuck inside a bubble where delusion is your emphasis Throwing stones from a glass house, you end up penniless I wanna give you a chance, Tariq, I really do A part of me wants to believe there's good inside of you But every time you run your mouth is dripping with ignorance, Hey, So on behalf of everyone decent, I wanna say Shut the fuck up, Tariq Your message is garbage, man You're spreading hate, you are spreading division you are a racist. Shut up to me. You're trying to become one as a people, man. You are isolating your race from the rest of the world. You You need one shred of self-awareness, man. You're so ignorant. So until you are done spewing bullshit, I will not shut the fuck up.